Welcome to the College Football Week 12 Saturday Slate Breakdown here at Lineups. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined here as always by Cody Malstrom and Will Schwartz. Let's move on to an SEC matchup that probably had a lot more excitement before the season started. Uh, Georgia had Tennessee. Tennessee, Cody, I want to let you loose, man, because you were right about this team. And they looked the worst they've looked all season last week in their blowout loss to Missouri. So... What's going on with uh, the Volunteers? Well, what's going on is exactly what I expected. Um, they're just horrible. Joe Melton is so bad. <laughs> He's so bad. It, you can't generate any sort of offense when you can't connect with your receivers whatsoever. I don't care if you can throw the ball 200 yards when he has the accuracy of a blind squirrel. It's just so bad. The t- the defense that looked like they wanted absolutely no part of Missouri. I I think the team's done. Like I truly think like they're mentally checked out. Like That was one of like, I, I gave the lean to Missouri. I didn't think it was going to be like that whatsoever because this Tennessee defense is very, very good. They were, they were capable of slowing down Missouri if they wanted to. They didn't want to. And now you're bringing in Georgia, who <laughs> they're looking as good as ever. Um, I, I, this is going to be – I'm on Georgia minus nine and a half. There's still a few tens out there. I would hammer the ten. Normally, you know, I say stay away from the hook because um, it is already creeping up to ten and a half. I honestly play this all the way up to 14 for all I care. This is going to be a Georgia route who they don't even really have to. Like, they could go on cruise control if they wanted to and still just win this game by a touchdown. Like, they just need to keep winning. But the, the way that Georgia's playing, the way that Tennessee just looked, it's awful. And I and I, I got the bottle of champagne – or not champagne. Um, I got the bottle of blue label, Johnny Walker already ready. It, it, I can't wait until Georgia cashes this. Under 8.5, under 9, under 9.5. It's – I bought it. I bought the bottle of like at, like at halftime. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, whew, Twitter's gonna be a good day on Saturday. I, I'm so low on this Tennessee team. Georgia. I, I don't even really need to get into the numbers. Georgia has advantages in almost every single regard. One thing that I guess to temper my own excitement. Um, Georgia defensive points per opportunity below average. They're seventieth. I just don't know if they just kind of were sleeping early on or what's going on with that. That's a very odd oddity for Georgia's defense, who used to reside like top five and letting no one score ever. Um, but what? Tennessee, 78th in points per opportunity because Joe Milton can exploit explosiveness um, in a shortened field and he can't hit the broad side of a barn or water if he fell out of a boat. So, yeah, that's a watch that battle. That's going to be a very intriguing battle. Tennessee, great running back group. They they are capable of running it up on Georgia, or running through Georgia. It's, it's just if that front seven shows up, I don't know. It's it's going to be super intriguing. But Georgia, minus nine and a half, cash all the Tennessee, one total unders. It's going to be a great Saturday. Yeah, I love Georgia in the spot, too. And I think, I think you're right. I think Tennessee is pretty checked out at this point. Um, doesn't help that their top corner, Kamal Haddon's out for the rest of the year. Top wide receivers, Brew McCoy and Dante Thornton also out now. Uh, safety to Mary McDonald went down last week. I mean, the injuries are piling up for them. And those two players in the secondary are especially crucial against a Georgia passing offense that I think looks awesome. I mean, Carson Beck, we weren't sure to make of him early in the year. A couple of inconsistencies in his play, but he's gotten better week by week and I mean, he was freaking dealing last week. Brock Bowers is back in the lineup. Lad McConkey's in full force. Dominic Lovett had a great game. Like, this Georgia offense has juice, man. And I think they're going to be able to put up however many points they want on Tennessee. Tennessee's got a good defense, but secondary is missing some guys now. So, going to be tough for them on that end. And then Cody's right about Joe Milton, man. Um, yeah, massive downgrade from Hennon Hooker last year. Just tough to see Tennessee doing much on offense in this game. And their best path is the run game, but they're coming off a season low, 80th rushing yards on 23 carries last week against Missouri. So, yeah, Georgia minus 9.5, minus 10 for me. Uh, agree with uh, everything Cody said here. Schwartz, any disagreement from you? Barely. I mean, yeah, this is a side. I've, I'm have i in a victory lap, too. I think Tennessee's a joke. I, I almost always do, but I've been pretty adamant this year that this team was unserious, and I just love seeing a game like that where a team I really do like puts a beat down on a team that I think is fake, but we'll talk more about Missouri a little bit later. Tennessee did give up 530 yards of offense, absolutely staggering uh, in a game that was scoreless through a quarter, but I'm not, I'm not betting it. I'm not, I'm not touching it. I think this is a super, super 
uh, you know, sell low, buy high situation. Georgia's coming off their best game of the year. Tennessee's coming off their worst. I don't know. Ten and a half is a pretty fair number. Georgia has made – I think they've made their statement. They, the people were talking about, is Georgia still that Georgia? They showed that they're still that Georgia. I'm not sure how much they need to win by on the road for it to be an acceptable win against a Tennessee team that's still being taken semi-seriously by people who, I don't know, didn't watch that game. I, I, I'm just going to leave this one alone for now. I, I'll be happy for Cody when all his unders hit. I wish I was on them with him. I just, I don't know, didn't pull the trigger. But love seeing Tennessee fall off. This is a pretty, uh, this, this, should be, this should be a spot for Georgia to roll. Although I'll be... I don't know. I'll be semi rooting for Tennessee. I think the fan in me wants to see uh, Michigan Ohio State be a one two undefeated game. Uh, we've only had, I think, just one of those in the history of the rivalry in 06. So I would not hate another. That'll do it for us. Hope you guys enjoy this week 12 slate of games. Going to be some great, uh, great ones to watch here. A lot of fun discussion about the playoff and conference championships. Going to have a ton of coverage for you guys as we get into those big time games to close out the season. Hope you guys enjoy this week. Like and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one.